What is up, everybody? Holly here, and welcome back to a, another episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. So, we got to see the opening credits, um, where we got to learn some interesting tidbits uh, with what happened. So, now we get to actually dive right into um, another portion of the story. So, let's get right into it. They'll find us. I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. All right. Time to clean house. Okay, so here we are introduced to, um, which is going to be our new character, Van or Vaughn or however you want to to, to specify it. Yeah. Uh. So if you remember, he had R1 or L1 to uh, speed up your character. X to go ahead and select. She said enemy. Yes. There we go. Wow, Vaughn, you got them all yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. All right, so... Let's see what else we got in store for us today. Royal City of Revenant. Year 706 old Valadina, <laughs> two years after the fall of Dalmasca. Huh? What'd you say? Uh, sir, you haven't paid, and I don't want have pie uh, on second thought. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. <laughs> Leave the poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. What way you're going, Churl? Huh? My pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! It's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. 
Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguel out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. Hmm. Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. All right, so it seems like we got our first little, in a sense, mission here. All right, so your location on the map often bears a mark showing your destination, which is going to be the X, or circle with the X in it. Uh, consult the map when you are unsure where to go. World map has been added to the party menu. Okay, so we need to find this Miguelo person. Um, so we're going to make our way to the Sea of Sea Sands, I think is what it's called. Um, so we need to go this way. I was waiting. Pinello said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble out in the desert. Now I've no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams with trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Ah -ah. I can't leave my shop at night. Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. <laughs> what do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. All right, so it seems like I kind of jumped ahead there. So we're actually heading to the sea sand, or sand scene now. All right, so we're going to make our way this way. You can speak to some of these folks along the way if you so choose to. I'm just going to go ahead and make my way through to the next upcoming bit. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. They're throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> Whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. We've got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand with stopping our couriers. And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. 
sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. Alright, so after that little cutscene, Tamaj here is going to sit there and kind of give us a little bit of uh, tidbits about the monster hunter quest um, ordeal. So this is going to be our first side quest hunt, in a sense. Um, it's going to be the Rogue Tomato. And we're going to go ahead and take it, uh, except the hunt is what I'm getting at. Alright, so we attend a clan primer. Okay, so Tamaj talks about licenses and it, the little bit I know about the licenses within uh, Final Fantasy XII, it's kind of like your dog classification kind of thing. Um, so you kind of like you have your fearless class, your uh, swordsman, that kind of thing. Um, from what I was reading, it would be almost best that we not accept any licenses at this parent moment. So that way later on we can make what we call like a master state file. And if you want to go back and play with different uh, licenses, uh, you can so do that. Another cool thing is, if you notice on the right hand side where the next button is, you also have the triangle that says log. Um, this gives you the opportunity to go back and read the chat log in a sense. Alright, so we're going to go to the east gate um, to head out, so that's where we're going to go from here. Alright, so if you want to repeat, you can do so. I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and leave the sand sea. So we need to make our way to the southern portion of the map. Um, so just kind of follow my lead and we will make our way that way. Okay. Another you there, nice little some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Magello. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right, gates are closed after this.
All right, so uh, we're actually going to head back real quick, or maybe we're not. Because I wanted to buy some potions, but... Eh, that was all right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and approach this save crystal here. Go ahead and save your game. Talk to this feller here. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can get myself back into the. a wee bit so there's actually a merchant that we needed to talk to before we headed this direction um, so obviously my first boo-boo but that's okay so um, but I'll happen to point him out as we're uh, going along but anywho go ahead and make your way out to the desert Welcome to the desert here. So there are going to be, excuse me, random chests that do happen to spawn. I am going to try to point them out, but I can't guarantee that we're going to find them because, you know, they're random spawns. But we are going to go ahead and get some attacking in. Because we need the need the experience. Okay, so I think there's possibly something over this direction, maybe. Bypass that little thing there. Let's see, let's come up this way. Let's see what's over here. Alright, we got a Phoenix down. We don't need to save. I just wanted to go ahead and heal up. Go ahead and head back out. Now I got to 
figure out where this tomato is. Oh, another treasure. Not where we need to go. Okay, so as soon as I figure out what I'm doing wrong, I will be right back. Okie dokie, so let's take care of this stupid wolf here. Looks nothing like a wolf, I'm yeah. just saying. Alright, so here is our lovely tomato here. Let's go ahead and take, start taking care of him. Oh, that's right. You've run away. Okay, so we see where he landed, so we just kind of kind of go up and around here. Watch your health, but looks like we got him. Galbana lilies. Never thought I'd see him growing out here. will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. Alright, we are paying a handful of Galbana lilies. Alright, now we get to head back. So just kind of make your way back in. You can fight as you see fit. and save it off just because um, we have a nice little cutscene that we need to um, deal with. So with that being said, folks, I will see you guys in the next episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Take care, folks.